What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite. So guys, your boy has just currently hit veteran rank on the rank ladder. So in today's video, we're going to be showcasing my two mains, Blissey and Greninja, in the high veteran rank. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. And if you guys want to catch some more content from me, head down the link in the description below. I'm streaming five plus days every single week over on Twitch. Jeans25 on Twitch. Make sure you hit that follow button. Turn on notifications so you know when I go live. But yeah, my two mains have been Blissey and Greninja ever since Blissey has been released. Greninja has always been my main, but he has just recently got a buff. Yeah, you guys heard that right. Greninja got a buff. I did not think he needed a buff, but he did, so he is so much stronger than what he normally was. His water strike now hits harder, and its cooldown is way faster. So every five seconds, we get to throw off a water strike. And the five seconds cooldown starts once we click the first water strike. So by the time our first water strike animation is done, it's about down to three seconds. So we are constantly throwing, constantly getting HP back and doing some big damage. And then we got Blissey over on the other hand, who's my other main. Been loving this Pokemon ever since I bought it when it released. Just been broken, just been an OP support mod. So we've been rocking out and climbing high ranks with it. But let's hit that Unite Battle button, hop into our first rank battle, and look for a big win with either Greninja or Blissey. So guys, we are able to lock in Greninja for battle number one. I want to try to get him in the jungle because I've been thriving with him in the jungle. Like every time I get him in central area, I usually boost his level up really quickly and control the battle from there. So hopefully we can get that uh, central area. They'll let me do it and I can roll out there and show Greninja off to its fullest potential. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What Pokemon do you guys think it needs a nerf or needs a buff? Let me know down there because Greninja just got this huge buff. He is so good with his new water striking cooldown and the water striking uh, boost and damage. It's just all around amazing. And I, di I didn't think he needed the uh, buff. I didn't think, I think other Pokemon could have used it first, but definitely let me know your guys' answers down in the comment section down below. But let's get rolling here. Let's show off Greninja and then into our second battle, we'll show off Blissey considering they're my two mains. Those two. I've been loving Blissey ever since she came out. If you guys haven't checked out my most recent Blissey video, we go over how her best items and best moves to use for her, just all around best build and show her off in some rank battles. So definitely go check that out. Show some love over on that video and show some love here while you're here as well by smashing that like button. But we have Cramorant, Wigglytuff, Slowbro, Charizard, Snorlax. Oh no, we don't have Snorlax. They have Snorlax. And then they had Ninetales, Gengar, and Lucario. So their team's actually looking really, really strong. Hopefully we win this one. I think I feel like Gengar, I feel like they're four right there. The Gengar, Lucario, Greninja, and Alola Ninetales are like top four in the game right now. They are so good right now, alongside with Blissey. But they have Blissey on that team. I feel like that would be a stacked team. But hopefully they give me that uh, central area. Let's see how this one plays out for me. I'm just going to rock up here and see if I can actually just steal this from them. Nope, did not steal from them. But they did give me a central area, which is amazing. I'll try to get my levels boosted and get rolling from here. But yeah, Grand Ninja is great up in that top lane, but can play jungle super super well I, I found more success playing him in the jungle considering you just have more control over the match and you're not really relying on your teammates as much so if you know how to play the jungle yo, you should be rocking the jungle you can play it really good because you, you'll just have more success all around it's just great but what i like to do with a uh, grand ninja or froki at this point is in the beginning just hitting the boof lines and the ludicolo over here just so i'm ready to actually go after the uh the core fish and be able to have a little quicker jump to it so right here getting that and the best part about this is is once i get finished with the jungle i'll be done it at like nine minutes i'm oh yo who already died yo we're alone with nine tails yo don't take that from me but this is my plan i take out all the jungle enemies and i'm already level five and then i come up here and wait for the bees and i help out the top lane with the bees so it's always, it always works well for me we always do decent here i should dip out here with a double team and then again just wait for the bees for the squad they're just waiting on the bees at 850 they'll spawn they are a huge boost next speed so we're getting after it trying to get them guys and jigglypuffs over there doing some work let me drop this double team just have them all scattered around here and uh, just get all this xp as much as we can which could be big for us could be big for us and we actually might be able to pick up ko here and let me see if i can get that oh i missed him of course of course i missed him can i get you got him I'll take that kill. I'll take trade for trade there. But usually, I can sneak a KO like that and drop back into that mid lane. But, yo, I'll take that all around. All around, yo, I'm fine with that. But, yeah, if I if I get a kill there, I usually just sneak over to that mid lane, get all the core fish, and just get my levels up high. I'll take kill for kill because our team is able to uh, start getting that tower control over there. But our bot lane's getting a, little, getting a little a little, torn up over there because our Charmeleon's in my jungle for some reason. In my jungle for some reason, yo. Get out my jungle, yo. I'll get the levels and I'll be fine over here. Because once Greninja... Once you get Greninja, you'll have a uh, Water Shrekken, and you're really just boosted from there. And he's just chilling in here, taking my dang Corefish. 
I think like one or two more core fish, we should be thriving here. It's great all around. And they are getting steamrolled over in that top lane a little bit. I should go help out. But uh, again, I want my, uh, I want my Gren first. I'm going to get Gren Ninja and then rock out from there. Let's roll. Let's roll. There's Gren. Hop over here and let's see what we can do. Strong Axe, get out of my game. Do me a favor. Let's double team on him. And start teeing off on this guy. Should be able to have him in the bag here. Oh, he eject button at a good time. And we should have him here, right? Yep, there's KO there. And I should be able to water shrek him wherever this guy is at. Oh, he ended up smoke screening us, that buttery biscuit. That son of a gun. Dropping a smoke screen. Get him out of here. And I have water shrek and can tee off and get HP back. That is what's so good about water shrek is you get HP as well with it. So it's just huge all around. It's just great all around. I'll keep teeing off on that. Take that core fish and then I'm going to dip mid. But dude, our bottom lane's getting steamrolled, man. I should actually go help at the bottom lane more so than anything. Especially because Drenol just spawned. So let's head to that bottom path. Let's actually confirm that. Go down here. And there should be some bees here. Which I can actually just steal up and roll over there. To the Drenol, baby. To the Drenol. And they already took them, bro. There's so many of these guys over here. And I have to eject button back, bro. Need a little bit of help. Need a little bit of help. Oh, thank you, Cramo. Cramo? Ah, uh, Cramo gave me a little bit of help. But after that, it was kind of over. But, dude. We need to get that Drenol. That's what I hate sometimes. Like, I'm playing as Greninja. I feel like I'm probably pretty decent here. I'm getting my levels up. But my teammates are just not just not doing their, their job. And that's a lot of the reasons you can lose up when you're solo queuing. It's like your teammates not doing their jobs. Granted, I should be helping out that bottom lane a little bit more. But I feel like I'm playing fine all around. Let's keep rolling here. Take out you. Is Boofland spawn? Nope. Somebody took my Boofland. Of course, it's probably that Charmeleon, dude. He's been out here taking all my stuff. He can go take the central stuff. I don't mind that one bit. Let me hop over here. Like, when you're coming in, taking my Boofalant, like, bro, get out of my face. I get if I'm not there, like, taking it. If I'm just, like, totally, like, disregarding it. But I've been hopping back and forth into the jungle and the other lanes like crazy. We do have alt ready, which is great. We have bees ready as well. If I can actually just smoke up on this Gengar, so I'm double team over here. And these guys are just doing the crazy stuff. Can we get rid of this Gengar here? Gengar is crazy, bro. Can we get rid of him? Can I ult? Can I ult? There's a nice big ult for me. And I don't know why it ulted so far. It's pretty nutty. It ult super, super far. Can I hop up here and throw some water shrekens? Get some HP. Get back from here. And throw another one. And no, I'm dead. I, I tried. I tried, man. I feel like I was the only one actually like hitting these guys up. I feel like if my teammates would have hopped in there, we would have been fine. But we are such a lower level. Actually, it's not too bad. This game's totally winnable, for sure. There's always a comeback factor when you're playing with uh when you're playing Pokemon Unite. But Zapdos is always clutch. It's always clutch. You can get up to, like, 500 points easily with that. And nobody's in the bot lane. I mean, oh my lord. Like, where is our team at? Team's just struggling here, man. It's just rough. It's just rough all around. Let's keep ripping. Keep going in here. And it's we're only at the five-minute mark, so levels could totally be a big thing. And we need to go down here and get, uh, and go get Dreadnought. So I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm just going to get this boof lamp off real quick. And then roll out from there. Why would it do that, man? Shout out my dang water striking over there. And I don't think I'm going to be down there for the boof lamp. But a big KO onto the Gengar from the Wigglytuff. But I'm coming. I'm trying to make my way there now. I'm making my way there now. I'm coming, baby. Get off on him. Keep going. Keep going. Hopefully this Ninetales doesn't get that. Oh, my God. She just ulted on me. Need a little bit of help. Need a little bit of help. There's that. And now Charizard is here. Ready to rock. And they did get it, dude. They're just always on top of it, bro. They're just on top of it. And that's how our team should be. And these guys are already ready to vote. Yo, get out of my face. Yo, I ain't voting just yet. And I'm dead, dude. <laughs> Gengar is so good. I swear, bro. My team votes. and Like, there's just no reason to vote to surrender. There, unless you only really vote after Zapdos is all said and done. In my opinion. Because you can always just come back. So, I'm just going to chill here. They can get the points. It don't really matter. It only comes down to Zapdos for us. So, hopefully we can get it. Hopefully we can uh, show off Greninja clutching up in the end. But we need some levels in order to do that. I'm aiming for, like, level 13 by the time Zapdos comes. Let's keep ripping. Let's keep ripping. Yes, sir. So, head down to the jungle and go get my Ludicolo over again. Get my lovely Ludicolo, baby. And then take out Corefish. There's level 12. And do this Charizard. Always be taking my Boofalant, bro. Always be taking my Boofalant. We have no one in the top lane. Like, dude, everybody is just scattered all over the place. They're playing with no, like, no strategy, man. And it's just rough. So there's the Ninetales. Let's see if I can go up here and get a shot off, off on these guys. But these guys will be able to be on me all day. I know we're really struggling. I know we're really struggling. You don't have to tell me. And, of course, Gengar's back here, too. 
Try to do that. Let's get some HP from the bees, man. The bees are always good on HP. I see you, Snorlax. Don't think I don't see you over there. Hit the back, hide the back, hide the back, hide the back, hide, can I dip? There we go. Get rid of you. And now we're rolling. And then Lucario was here. We gotta get some HP here. I could ult. I'm gonna ult. Give me a second. Can I ult? It's ult. Bang. Send that over onto you. Let's see if I can get rid of Lucario. Can I hit him? There we go. I was gonna say, if it wasn't gonna let me hit him, I'm just gonna cry a little bit. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go level 13 out and about we got all of our moves boosted and there's still a shot here there's still a huge shot here but again like i said we are definitely going to need that uh we're definitely going to need that uh zapdos no ands ifs or buts so i'm going to take out this enemy and then i'm gonna get rolling over to it two zapdos let's do it baby let's clutch up use the diglett trap here oh run it the car was in there Doing some damage onto him. We should be fine. As long as our whole team comes here. Gonna be a little bit. Gonna be a little hectic. We gotta get rid of this Gengar. But if we can start working on him, that could be big for us. We got him. There's a big KO by me. I need a little help here on this Lucario. Could be big for us. And they all have ults ready to rock. I do not have my ult. Does our team have our ults? We do not. Nope. And we're all dead. We are all dead. Yo, Charizard. Somebody please let me know what this Charizard's doing. We're over here in a team fight. We're over here in a team fight. And you have eight points. You're going to go score eight points. Like, eight points are going to make the difference. Cramo, you got this, baby. You got this, Cramo. I'm coming. I'll be there. I need you. I need a big steal from the boys back home. Charger, steal that. Charger, steal that, baby. Charger, steal that. Oh, they stole it. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Everybody up. They're all dead. Everybody go score. Everyone go score. Everyone go score. As much points as we can. We might have just clutched this one up. Like I said, never forfeit till the match is over. There's, there's 100 points. Can we get more? I'm coming over here to score. Here's another 44. Bang. Break that one. If I can actually take this thing out and score these points. Bink. And there you go. There's another 14. Wonderful. Getting a lot of points, yo. We might have clutched this one up. I think we did clutch it up. So that's why you guys should never forfeit. But hopefully I got to show off the power of, uh, of Greninja in this video. Or in this battle right here. If not, you guys will definitely see way more content coming out for me for Greninja in the future. But he's just so much stronger, yo. Great ult for me, and this guy's just dipping my moves. Get mad here. But yo, Wiggly tough getting that double kill. Can you score your points, Wiggly? And yo, who's not defending? Oh, uh, Kramer and Wiggly tough. They're the only ones left. That's totally fine. They can score those points. I think we definitely got enough points to win that one, which would be awesome all around. So let's see the final score. Let's see it, baby. 680? 430, yo. That is why you should never forfeit the match until Zapdos is all said and done. They would have got Zapdos, then I would have been like, okay, let's forfeit the battle. But we had Zapdos, came up clutch. I, I gotta give it to the Charizard. Charizard did clutch it up, and I was freaking out at him. But we take those all day. 3-6, 146 points. Cramo had 10 kills, but no points on the board. I'll take that win all day. Definitely a comeback win. GG's. We're gonna hop to our second battle and try to show off our main Blissey in that one. We got ourselves one win so far using Greninja in that first battle. Now we're hopping into our second battle using our secondary main, which is Blissey. This Pokemon has been so strong ever since it's been released to the game. Hopefully we get to show off more power from this thing in this battle right here. We have Greninja on our team going jungle, which I really, really like. We just used him in the jungle, which was dope. We have me going bottom lane, Slowbro going in that top lane, and then Gardevoir and Alone Ninetales can swift and swap. So whoever's coming bottom lane with me is going to be great because they're both decently good attackers, and they pair well with Blissey, so I'm with it all day. Their team's looking pretty solid as well. They got the Greninja, so that kind of cancels out. We both have the Gardevoir. They have Zorora probably going into the jungle, so we definitely got to watch out for him. But then they got the Snorlax and Elder Goss. Elder Goss for support, but I think Blissey is a better support mod. They both have their ups. They really do. I think they're both really good Pokemon, but I just think Blissey right now has the upper hand. It's just a better Pokemon all around. But let's get after this one. Let's try to get our levels up and go back to back and get two wins for today's video. Which would be dope, especially in the veteran rank, because veteran rank is very whack, especially when you're solo queuing. Either get in with good teammates or bad teammates. There's really no in between. Like last game, I think we did get in with uh, bad teammates, but we were able to clutch up and win that one, which is awesome. So props to my teammates. Props to my teammates for getting that Zapdos in that other one. I feel like we played great as Greninja. Got the levels. I don't really care about kills. That's why my kills are kind of low. I care more about farming and clutching up and just playing for the win. So I'm glad we were able to do that and grab ourselves that win. Ever since I started playing like that, I started winning a lot more battles. But we're going to go over here. Try to get this thing. Can I just slap up on it? Yep. Let me heal up. Let me heal you up. And we'll dip back and just start getting these uh these Pokemans. 
these stuff and things. Because level 4, I evolve, and I get a nice little soft boil, which is dope. I love that move. It just heals up the teammates, and it's really clutch all around. Slap. There's my soft boil. Ready to rock. Go here. You can get that kill. And did they take out their Aldino shit? They're doing it now. The beast will spawn at 850. I think we're chilling here. I think we're totally fine. There is a level 3. There's a level 3 over here. Little Elder Goss first stage. I'm gonna just drop a little pound on it. There we go. And is that an Arc Red Ninja? Nope, it's their Frogadier. Dropping stuff and things. A soft boiled up. Get some HP for the boys. And yo, drop back. You're only level 3. I'll hit you up again, though. There you go, Sweet Pea. All these guys. Bees are coming out here. Let's get all this XP. Keep going here. Slap it up. And can I get that? I did not. Let's soft boil up. And I might have to dip back. So they got level 5 Rolts, man. Rolts is nothing to be messing with, dude. He's so good all around. I think Rolts is... I think Gardevoir, once you get it leveled up, is super, super strong. Might have to jack button back here. Might have to be my play. Do I jack button? Nope. Save my jack button, which is totally fine. And I'm just going to go... I'm going to go in the mid, maybe. No, nope. for right now, we're just going to camp here. Frogadier, I don't know what he's doing. Is he, is he doing stuff in the jungle? Yeah, he is. He, he was just standing still on the map for a little bit. If I get off a nice little slap and just keep it on from there. Aldino did spawn, so I can get level 5, which is huge for us. Level 5, baby. Get my stats up a little bit. Take a nice little pound there. And roll out. The Frogadier, if Frogadier just keeps farming, we're, we're covering the spot lane really, really well. And they just got to kill in that top lane. So that's how I really like to play B Blissey, is just play really defensive with her. Cover my lane and just wait for my teammates to come in for support. Once I get them and once I get Helping Hand, we usually rock out pretty strong. And heal you up. Play back a little bit, Rolts. I'll heal you up again. They don't die. This is nice damage. Go up the squad again. And oh, here comes this Pokemon. I'm gonna have to check button back. Heal you up. Keep you alive. Keep you alive. Yeah, yo, back up. Uh, let's see if I can call the team over to this uh, bot lane. This Drenal is down here, and the bees are back. And I really could, could use some kills on these bees. I got this guy on my tail, bro. Every second. I come up here. Get a nice big slap going. We have the squad. Yo, I hate how this thing jumps on. We do have helping hand ready to go. We should be able to get rid of this thing. Yep, there's a kill for us. And we are teeing off now. Heal up. Need my health. Yo, there's another kill. Omus can heal up again. Should be big. And we should be able to go get Dreadnought. Let's just go get Dreadnought, guys. Hey, Dreadnought down here. Dreadnought down here. If I start attacking, it'll actually give it like a little cue to everybody. And I'm attacking Dreadnought, so... Let's get him. We need to get him here. I need a soft blow up. I need HP. But for now, I'm just going to tee off on my own. Wait for my teammates to come over here. And we're just going to keep going from here. We got a soft boil soon. No, I need some help. I need some help. Soft boil. Nope. Bro, why didn't our teammates come over here? Did we get that? Who got the Dreadnought? I think they did. Let's see. Yeah, they got the Dreadnought, man. Dude, we had it. We had Curlia, me, and Grand Ninja ready to roll. And none of my teammates rocked out there. Yo, you got, if you guys are playing, always focus on uh, Dreadnought. He's really good all around. Uh, let me give this to uh, Red Ninja here. I'm just going to take the core fish. And these guys over here. Yo, go ahead, get, get that. I can't really do anything. Level difference is astounding. That's under tower. But I'm just going to take out this Aldino. But yeah, if you guys ever have the chance to take out the uh, the Dreadnought, you have to get it. It's full. It's a big XP boost for your team. And your whole team gets shields at the same time. So who knows? You could, you could save somebody in that top lane just by giving them a shield. And they're about to die. You give them that shield, which is dope. Use this and get level 8, which could be big for us. And we're going to keep moving. Keep moving around, pussy. Because the more I level up, the more HP I can give out. Oh, that's some, that's some big XP over here. Get that. Let's get it rolling here. Got that. Boop. Best queen are also huge HP. Let's see if I can actually put up some points on the board here. And here comes Snorlax, and he's just going to hit me out. That's totally fine. Use this. Give my team a little speed boost. And I might go mid, dude. As a blissey. Just get this level 9. Level 9, I think I might get Helping Hand Plus. I think I get something like that. Let's see. No, I do not. Nothing. Nothing just yet. I forget the levels for Blissey for the level up, but I'm totally cool with this. It's my Helping Hand again and just start teeing off. So he's over here. It might come down to uh, Zapdos again for us. Start teeing off on this thing. He's going to stun me. I'm just going to keep slapping up on this thing. You know, he put me to sleep, you butter biscuit. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. All right, let's step back here and just keep farming these levels. Slowbro's down here. Doing work. I'm going to do the same. Right now, we're a little behind. I don't think it's a too big of a lead that they have. Nothing nothing a Zapdos can't fix. You guys already know the deal with that. And hopefully, our Greninja gets decently boosted. And by the time that comes, I can hit him with my ult. Give him a shield. Let him pop off from there. 
And Jonel has spawned, so let's go. Let's go, peeps. Everybody down there. Everybody down there. I'm confirming that. <laughs> they already killed him? What you mean? They were just sitting there ready for him. That's nutty. I'm coming over. Oh, big lag spike. Big lag spike. Yo, what is going on? Oh, my lord, bro. Hey, heal. Drop a little heal. Drop a little heal, and I'm going to have to check up on back. Cannot, cannot do anything about that. Oh, they're hopping on now. Now I want to go over here. I kind of want to drop a helping hand if I can get it off. And we should be able to take out the Snorlax, no problem. Snorlax out of here, chilling under a tower like that. Go ahead, waste it all, buddy. Let's soft boil the squad up. Keep going after him. Keep getting after him. Oh, that son of a biscuit. Yo, get him, Gren. Get him, Gren. Here's a speed boost. There we go. Beautiful. Get rid of him. And let's keep rocking out, getting our levels. Which I did spawn. And we're good. We're rocking, man. I don't think this is too bad for us. Let me see the level difference here. So it's 10s and 11s versus uh, 11s and 213s. E. We, we might need another Zapdos steal. We might need another Zapdos steal. So there's my level 11. Big goal for our Gardevoir there. We'll take that all day. He's this, and we'll keep ripping. And she destroyed the goal zone, so that's huge. So goal zone is a tie right now with destroys. And I might go head over to that top lane. Let's go help him out. This top lane. Actually, they have two over there, and Greninja can just go over there. So I'm just keep farming. Just keep doing me. We're struggling to keep up, but it's not a huge lead, so I'm totally cool with it. Uh, that's all you, buddy. Actually, nah, yo, you, you're fine. Go over here to bees did spawn, so let me go take out these wonderful bees. I love bees, man. I love these bees, dude. Every time you see a pile of them, they just give you so many levels, which is awesome. And, you know, they are getting steamrolled in that op, dude. I think we should head to that bottom. I think we should head to that bottom. We keep taking this thing out. Yo, look how long it takes Pussy to take out a dang Vespa Queen. But yo, give her these levels. She's thriving. She's thriving. I won't have enough time to take that thing out by myself, so there's really no point of going down there. Janelle did spawn, and let's see if I can go help out this Ninetales. I'm coming, Ninetales. Don't worry. Don't worry, Sweet Pea. Oh, you really died. Can we get this thing out of here? There we go. There's KO there. I might ult over into you. Nope. Not, not yet. Not yet. Oh, nice work, Ren. Nice work, Ren. Yo, let's see if we can just take out this Zapdos real quick. Here's a helping hand. Let me ult over onto you guys. There you go, Gren. There's a shield for you guys. Soft boil this team up here. Soft boil them again. I might die here. Here's a helping hand. Keep going, boys. Keep going. Keep going. Yo, where's my team at, bro? I'm sitting here, like, healing them up and everything, and they're just dipping back. Yo, we could have had an easy piece up there. Easy piece up. Real easy piece up. Greninja and Alone Ninetales were sitting back there. I was there helping hand and healing up. Yo, we could have been thriving. Even set my ult, though. That's rough. They want to vote to forfeit? Yo, we learned our lesson last time. We're not voting just yet. Zapdos is still here. We got teammates rocking. Maybe they have ults ready to go. I'm coming in here for a big old helping hand. Let's roll. Let's roll, peeps. Let's get it done. Yo, big KO coming out from Ninetales here. Come here. Let me heal you. Helping hand. Let's hit up. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Look at that. Yo, big KO is coming out here. Now let's start taking out this Zapdos. Let's get rid of this thing. Take her out so bad. Yo, let's roll. Let's roll. Take this thing out. They're all dead. They are all dead. I'm going to give you guys all speed boost after we take this thing out. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Everybody need to be scoring here. Everyone needs to be scoring here. Greninja, I'm going to hit this first one. Yo, Greninja took out our Gardevoir, bro. Where are all those points? You go. I'm going to head to the next one. Might have the jack button up here. Score these points. Bang. Another 100. Score them all, boys. Yes. Big old points. We might still, we might get this win now. We might get this win. We got to go defend. We need Slowbro defending. Where is Slowbro at? Where the heck is Slowbro at? Slowbro just died. Oh, no. Are these guys steamrolling up here? Where are they at? Can't even see where they're at. I don't think they have enough time to score. This one's going to be close, yo. Did we clutch that one up again? We're all coming out mid. I don't think he has it. Yo, nice. We might have caught that win. Let's see it. Run it, baby. 471 to 372, baby. Zapdos clutching in today's video. Both battles, we played decent all around. We just started getting steamrolled early on, but we played Zapdos really well. And that just shows how to win games, yo. You got to play Zapdos right, and you got to get after it. But, yo, Blissey coming up clutch with the helping hand. When you have five people around you, when you have the whole team there... You just got to drop that helping hand. Boosts them all. You can all, and we just steamrolled them to victory. Let's get it, guys.
That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Showed off the brand new Grand Ninja with his buffs, grabbed herself some win there, and showed off Blissey yet again in another battle and got a win with her as well. Both battles weren't really so dominating by us, but we played super, super well and played Zapdos really well in order to KO him and pick up the win at the end of the battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.